Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how to run or execute a MATLAB live script from a uh, or function from the app designer code. So let's begin. We'll start uh, our MATLAB and create a new live script. First and foremost, let's save it. Saying live script example, you can name this uh, file anything, but we, we will be needing this file name to run it uh, from outside of the MATLAB environment or from the command window. So let's see how we do it. So first and foremost, I will type some comments, not the code. So Alt Enter or you can even use this button to toggle between code and uh, text part or you can use Alt Enter from your keyboard. So over here, first line I'll do this. Let's initialize uh, initialize All right, yeah. and then I'll go into the code mode and here I'll create a variable called x and that will probably be that will start from 2 a step size could be 3 and end at 50 so I'm expecting it to be a size of somewhere around 17 because uh, yeah 3, 6, 9 uh, no or uh, 2, 5 uh, uh, and 8 and yeah so and so forth so let's see how it comes up after this my next line will be to plot this plot the array okay and uh, i will put it plot x perfect i'll save it and now i will first run it over here so to run the any particular uh, part you can just press alt enter and you can see the particular array is defining the workspace the variable and also the plot has come up you can also run this code from outside uh, from the command window by like script example and it runs and it creates the same plot over here perfect uh, before we get into the app design i will also do one thing i'll create another uh, live script and this time i'll create a probably a function uh, not a script so i'll just say live function and And then I'll put probably function and then the function name. Uh, function can, name could be again anything. So live function example. Please note in the name you can't put any space. So you have to put either uh, yeah, no space or underscore otherwise. And here probably I'll take an input variable as step. And here again I'll create another variable called y equal to uh, same. I will use the same what I'm using there. <laughs> Two, and then the step size so here since the step is an input variable I'll put it just like this and the end will be at 50 okay and then same I will do is plot of y perfect I will also do one thing uh, since we are creating y as a function uh, variable oh, first let me run this and show you okay I have to save and for saving uh, it's uh, by default it's auto automatically fetches the function name so that's good I'll just click yes it saves and now if I run this uh, code so since this is a function we can't run it uh, directly so what we can do or what we have to do over here is we can run it using live function example and once we run it we'll see and we'll see that uh, there is some error by the way and that's because the not enough input argument so if you see we have to give some kind of step size that we have missed out so i will do one thing i will give some step size probably i'll keep it same as three what we use for the other one and we'll see a particular plot has come up because of this line number six but this variable y is no more appearing in the workspace because this is a work base workspace and the variable it got created over here is for function workspace so to create a variable in base workspace, what we can use is we can use assigning a function base and then the variable name and what the value. So value will be y. You can you can we can use anything. Or probably I'll change it to y underscore base to show that this y and this variable which will get created in the workspace is although the values are same, but it's uh, different a little bit different. Okay, so once uh, we have it, then I will rerun this code. And if you see this time a variable has also been created over here and the plot would be somewhere over here yeah perfect okay so this 
uh, these are the two scripts or two files which we'll be using the live uh, live scripts and live function in our uh, app designer so now let's go back to the home tab and let's quickly create our app designer so just click on this button let it come up or come up use the default one the blank app save it using any name so live um, probably live uh, okay i don't want to use the function so i'll use mlx run example again name doesn't matter and in the design view i'll keep it very simple i just use two buttons one one for script the other one for function so and i'll name it uh, text as five function and this one as live script perfect okay and apart from this i will do one thing i will just create the callbacks for both of these buttons so this one got created for live script the first one if i put on the second one and then i can reuse the one which i created for the script but i can also create the other one for function so if you see this one is for script and this one is for function so over here we don't have to do anything much we have to just call these functions so whatever we have used here we have to do it again so i'll first use the script control c and if i should quickly go here and control v that's all and similarly for live function button as well uh, what we have to do is we have to just put this and yeah instead of steps as three probably i'll change it to something different so that it's visible when the plot comes up that's it so it's so simple you have to use whatever the command we are using the command line to run those files that's all we have to use uh, if i'm testing it so if you see right now the moment i press the live script uh, the plot has come up and i am pretty sure this is for 2 to 50 uh, with the step size of 3 and that we can quickly check and this is for step size of 8 so that's why if you see the data points has decreased to 7 only although the numbers remains from 2 to 50 because the initial and end point are the same for both so yeah both are working and uh, yeah that's all so i just wanted to show you how simple and easy it is just create a live script and then uh, use this command line uh, apis to call that particular file uh, and then it will run that particular uh, uh, method so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thank you and have a nice day